So the reason I became a spine surgeon really stems back to when I injured myself in high school. So I was playing soccer, and unbeknownst to me at the time, I herniated a disc, and every motion caused excruciating back pain and leg pain. It was very powerful for me. It taught me a couple of things. It showed me how much you need your back. The other thing that was very powerful for me was I got better without surgery. Oftentimes I do share my story about my own back problems with patients. Philosophically, in my career, I really approach every patient just like that, understanding that most patients get, can get better without surgery. So it always starts with non-operative treatment, modifying physical therapy, trying new medications, considering injections, but doing an all-encompassing non-operative program is really, really key. It's only in that small subset of patients who don't get better through that non-operative treatment plan where we consider surgery. Patients oftentimes come to me uh, at the end of the ropes and really being confused and, and frustrated in the fact that maybe their spine care hasn't gone quite in the way that they wanted, which means that I need to individualize my treatment to them to get them better. First thing, I try to figure out not only what symptoms they're having, but what they like to do. I think it's really important to figure out what a patient's goals are in order to figure out how we get them back to that point. It's not just getting patients out of pain, but it's getting patients back to life.